Right, today is EMP day, hurrah! Um, actually, I'm lying, it's not today, it's actually tomorrow, but today is the start of EMP day. Um, today, I'm going, so I'm going tomorrow morning fairly early, so what I want to do is move the caravan round now. So we have the caravan facing the house. Um, we, in our minds, it gives us a little bit more security that they'd have to, anyway, you know. Um, or whatever so I'm gonna move it around now so I'm gonna move it around now and then I'll be all ready for tomorrow to hook up so I'll be going about half seven tomorrow so I don't really want to be um, moving a caravan that time in the morning however what I will say one one thing that um, I, it might wake the neighbors or whatever that's not actually the real reason what the real reason is when you're using the motor mover you're gonna don't have any lights on the caravan so you know manufacturers can we look into that please when i motor mover in the dark i've got to reverse onto a road and it's got no lights so it's pitch black if it's pitch black a car comes in <sighs> come on think about it lads a little switch or something just anything that you know i could just morning <clears throat> hope you can see me and hear me uh early seven o'clock emp day um yeah so i'm just off to the dealer it's been a while since I've been up this early <laughs> and outside. Um, turned the caravan around last night just so that it makes it easier this morning. So I'm off about an hour away. Let's go. Eventful trip, just um, just at Duxford Airfield, probably another 15 minutes to go. Uh, quite a cold setup, five degrees, a uh, four degrees, uh, not five, luxury, five, luxury. It's five degrees now, it was four degrees when I was at home hooking up. So, what's next? Well, obviously, I'm just going to drop this off and then go home. However, Every 15 miles, I did stop to check my lights. Um, check the torque on my wheel nuts, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> Honestly, I, I, on one of these days, my wheels are gonna fall off and you're all gonna say, you should have checked your wheel nuts more regular. And I'm just coming up to the point where I wrote the caravan off, so I'm gonna concentrate a bit more. That's another 50 miles done without the wheels falling off the caravan. <laughs> well, that's it, Try. sorry. Look, caravan safety is important, but really, let's not go over the top about it. So, drop the caravan off. Um, might need to pick it up for Saturday, it's Wednesday now. There's a few bits they need to do, like the EMP leveling, fit the router, um, problem with the aircon, oh, intermittent problem with the aircon, they're going to look at all that thing, so maybe it'll be Saturday I'll pick it up, because it's more convenient for me, um, and I'm in no rush for it really. Right, so the longest ever vlog <laughs> is taking me to film over a few days this vlog, so I'm off to a dealer today to pick up a caravan with EMP fitted and the router, and a few other bits that I wanted them to do. So, um, Saturday morning, 20 past 8, takes me about 50 minutes to get there, said I'll be there at 9, boom. One of those mornings, you know when you think you've got loads of time, then all of a sudden you've got no time at all, and you rush around eating breakfast, having a shower, not at the same time, off to the dealer. That's it, caravan picked up, it's all fairly smooth, as it always is really with the dealer, they're really good there, um, no problems at all, quick demonstration on how it worked, the EMP, to be honest, it's only two buttons, up and down. Um, <laughs> If you do it automatically anyway it'd be interesting when we get back so i've got to use it on the drive uh, for the first time but i think i'll have to do it in manual mode because the nose will be too high so the nose has to be lower for it to know how to where to level it to i was a bit concerned about any additional weight that the emp leveling might add towing okay at the moment but you know this this car could tow i think two and a half ton 
brakes trailer, so MTPM on that thing's 2000, so but, you know, I've not gone over that. I'm not, I've still got, I think it's something like 480 payload, um, different from the MRO, so when it comes off the factory. So I, I've got a payload of like 400 and whatever kilograms. I mean, that's a lot of pants. Right, so I just want to finish this vlog off. I've done this vlog over a, well, a, a couple of two weeks, I think, and I've lost track of what I've said already. However, I'm now back from the dealer with the leveling system fitted. I'm very happy with it so far. I've not had a great deal of time to play with it at the moment, so this isn't, isn't a review of the system. It's just kind of showing you it on. And uh, one of my concerns that I had with it, well, not a concern, it's just, you might know my slope my drive is on the slope so the caravan is higher at the back than it is at the front now quite a bit higher it turns out now when i've had it previously i've manually leveled it um, and it hasn't been at all level as you see here see the a-frame is basically touching the floor and back here it's obviously higher so what that means is um, where it's parked at the moment I can't use auto leveling up with EMP which isn't a problem you can level manually he says nearly falling over the step so you can level manually which is great in fact it just makes it it makes it much easier than using the drill or manual intervention now what i will say um emp leveling it's not for everybody okay it's a big expense sort of three and a half thousand pounds for the full system right which is a lot of money obviously you can't you don't need it it's not something you need at all now what i've been trying to do over the last well since we've had this caravan um you'll know that we've had air conditioned air conditioning fitted um i've got a router fitted here um, now the, the idea is that I'm planning to retire shortly hopefully if the economic if the economic position doesn't get a lot worse I can hopefully retire in about a year's time what that means is we get a bit more time in the caravan and really I'm trying to future proof stuff with a caravan I, I mean me as I get older not as maybe as able as I am now so with EMP leveling and all that stuff it just takes a lot of the hassle out especially if Maybe we're planning to move from site to site, not, not stay somewhere for two weeks. Sort of use it almost like a motorhome, boo. Uh, you know, whereas you turn up in a site, stay there two days, and move on somewhere else. EMP leveling helps with that. Uh, so, oh, what I'll do quickly, I'll quickly show you the router. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it. So what they've done, they've done a really good job. They've put it in there. See, there it is. So I will do a review on that in in due time, in due time, I can't speak English. So I will do a review on that uh, in a short while. So that's tucked away in there. EMP leveling control, it's down here, as you'll see. Now, if you're familiar with EMP, so this basically pops off like that. And then that's the hand control. So let's pop out and have a look. So very briefly, can't see a damn thing because there is some. Very briefly, you've got manual and automatic mode there. Manual, obviously. Um, that's what I can do at the moment. I can take the stays up automatically, which I'll do now. Because I'll just press that automatic button there. And then do auto up. So it's bringing up the. We'll just see them go up. Yes, it will be the worst demonstration ever. In the centre, rams come up. Probably won't be able to see them. So you can see how far down that is at the front there. And basically it's about as far down as it can go. So if I try to do automatic. So 
See, nose is too high, lower the jockey wheel. Of course, I can't lower it anymore. So I need to go to manual mode. So I press manual mode, then I can bring the stays down manually. And it stops automatically when it's level. So I do the back ones. If I hold it down. So that stopped. Then there's the centre rams. Actually, the offer on at the show was so it's three thousand four hundred and fifty pounds, an extra one hundred and sixty if you want these larger base centre rams. Um, and they did that. The show offer was that was for free. They, that upgrade one hundred and sixty. So basically, I got one hundred and sixty off. So I don't think you'll be able to see through there. I just stopped the demo there, the demo. Um, I just manually put all the stays down again. Now the thing is, when sometimes I've noticed when you press the button, it's making a lot of noise, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So user error. See, I'm out of breath even using the MP. <laughs> is, is that right? <laughs> I think it's going to be fantastic on a on a pitch that's not like the side of Mount Everest. And I just noticed there that the back stays because I never really had it level before. Now it is level at the moment with the, basically with the um, jock, the A-frame basically touching the ground and the rear legs at their full extension, even with those <clears throat> rather nice pieces of wood you see there. So I think I'm gonna have to get something that's a bit higher than that. Maybe I've uh, got some more log blocks out the back or what I might do is I've seen some um, kind of foam blocks that you could use, I've seen them on eBay. I might buy them and uh, let you know how I'll get on with them. Um, about 20 quid, I think, for, for four, but I might get six, because you've got six points, leveling points. So yeah, with this EMP leveling, so you get a full, or don't know what they call the other one, half, let's say. So the half one is just the stays, so the four stays automatically deployed down. For the full system, uh, which I think is about 1,200 pound more, possibly, don't quote me on that, but it is less anyway if you get just the four stays. But with this version, you've got two centre rams that I showed you. Now what they do, they level it side to side, but also it makes the floor a lot more solid. Like usually, um, if Maddie's, or I'm walking around in the bedroom and Maddie's sitting here or vice versa, then there's a certain amount of wobbling going on. With this, I won't demonstrate now, but it is, uh, rock, as a lot of people have said, it is rock solid. So what my thoughts initially, initial thoughts, I'm glad I got it. I think it's gonna prove its value more so than just being on my drive. Although it is, once I get the hang of using it, they're there, if you saw me uh, up, down, middle, center, it's gonna take me a while to um, get used to. So like I say, not for everybody. I fully understand that. Like some people have commented that it's, a, it's just a luxury and um, they'd rather spend uh, three and a half thousand pound on 100 nights away whatever whatever they say you know which is you know horses for courses personal choice all that this channel is all about that it's never trying to convince you to do anything or saying whatever you've done isn't right we're all different um you save your money you buy these things it's up to the individual whether they want to buy you know i'm not i'm not an emp salesman i'm just showing you that i've bought it so future vlogs i will do a bit more of a review of the emp leveling system maybe when I'm on site when it's a bit more obvious of the benefits but there you can see this is worst case scenario with EMP where it can't get the nose low enough so you can't automatically level it now this is something I spoke to EMP about um, if you go on their website it's something like a maximum of I don't I can't remember now five degree slope or something I calculated the slope here and it I think it should have worked although I was fully prepared to know that it wouldn't to think that it wouldn't but it doesn't this slope is too steep 
The other thing that a lot of people are concerned about is the weight. Now, a few people have said to me, you got, uh, you know, they were concerned for me, I think, rather than having a dig about the amount of extra, extra weight we've got on the caravan with the air conditioning, the motor movers, EMP leveling. So how, how, does that, how does that work? People were a bit concerned. So with the Challenger I've got, we've upplated it to 2000 kilograms and the MRO is now these are figures off the top of my head something like 1540 so it gives you 460 kilograms of payload now which I've double checked triple checked I've checked how many however many times I can because when we had the Bailey twin axle the Cartagena its payload was 160 that's without the motor movers and all I mean it's just I don't I don't know obviously they're using a different chassis um but that's it is what it is so the weight of EMP leveling I can't get a straight answer really it's very difficult 25 kilograms additional weight they say but then some say yeah but what it, you're change you're taking the old stays off which I've got in the house at the moment taking the old stays off and putting new ones on so it doesn't actually add that much more weight I don't know I've even read something like 60 kilograms I'd but that could be how much the stays and the MP electronics and everything weighs. Then you have to minus the weight of your stays. You know, who knows? I'm happy with this about 25 kilograms. So more to come with EMP. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thumbs up. It helps the channel. All that malarkey. See you in the next one. Was that enough on EMP? Probably gone on too long. It's probably a 45 minute vlog again. Quality caravan vlogging.